Wooden FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2-0 win over Bath City in the National League South. Adam, your thoughts after that one? I hey, obviously, yeah, delighted. Um, come away from home, keep a clean sheet. Um, you know, it's a real tough place to come. Um, Jerry's got a really good side, um, you know, and it's, you're not surprised that they are where they are in the league. Um, you know, I think Bath and Yeovil have been really two two good sides, and um, yeah, just, just pleased to, to get a clean sheet. We've shown a bit more fire, a bit more grit about us. Um, I think like last couple of weeks we've been good. We've had one bad 45 minutes where we conceded four. Um, but other than that, I think the last two weeks there's been some real good determination, some good play. Um, and yeah, it was gritty, it was, it was not free-flowing second half, um, but we showed a different side to us that we can um, grind out results and that's what we need to do sometimes away from home. Do you think it was a good away performance today? It was a great defensive display. Didn't really feel like we were in too much danger, especially in that second half, as you said. No, yeah, I thought first off they had a couple of long shots. Uh, the number 15 for them comes in with his left foot. He's got, you know, real good trickery. He's good in 1v1 situations and, um, uh, yeah, just uh, wasn't quite on target. Um, but, yeah, all you, all you ask from the team um, is that they learn. And, you know, I thought Rocco, Joel, Glenn coming in, um, you know, go for everyone, really. But those three in particular at the, at the back, you know, was... Um, it was really good for us and uh, yeah, just pleased that you know, Rocco's coming for crosses, punching stuff and you know, all you, all you ask after a couple of bit of bad performance is that the lads learn and respond and that's what this group seems to do time and time again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you mentioned Rocco there, a couple of really big saves from him this afternoon. How good is that for his confidence after the season, the fair on, on Tuesday? No, yeah, definitely. And like, I think he'll, he'll be the first to admit, you know, he's... He's been um, disappointed one or two of the goals lately, um, you know, but all you ask is he's learn. He's a young lad, it's his first um, taste of regular men's football and, you know, he's, he's come for a big punch there amongst bodies. Um, you know, he's come and claimed one under pressure. He's made a good save where he's tipped it over as well. So, you know, you need your goalkeeper uh, when you come away from home and so I thought he was, he was superb and like I say, do his confidence a world of good. Absolutely, and midfield display as well, Ode Sarondo, Michael Class. It's sort of what you expect from these guys to read the play, break it up, everything like that, but it felt like a strong display from those as well. No, oh, yeah, all, like, all round, I don't think you could, could fault anyone or, or too many players today. Um, you know, a lot of the players were, were at it, and, you know, as long as we've got that, if we're, if we're not quite, you know, Good, good enough on the ball and we're a bit sloppy in possession then you know we can rectify that and that's stuff we can work on but you know we've got to turn up and the first thing we've got to do is play with uh, grit and determination and you know I thought the lads have really done that today and I'm really pleased with them. So a big win today coming off the back of a few poor results especially away uh, got a good team a, a world of goods going into the FA Cup game next Saturday. No, yeah, definitely. Like I say, the last two weeks we've, we've been, been good, I think. Um, you know, we beat Bath twice now. We, we run Yeovil very close um, and beat Crawley. It was a great performance against them. And then even first half against Hampton, I thought it was excellent. Um, so, yeah, we had a sloppy 45, but all you ask for the players is that they learn and respond, and they've definitely done that. And, uh, you know, there was, there was a few disgruntled fans, obviously, travelling away and spending their money, um, but hopefully they'll, they'll come away happy today. Yeah, and a bit wet as well as we yeah. appear on the Oh, yes, yeah, disgusting, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it seems to have followed us. It's bright sunshine, wasn't it? Mid, mid journey, and then, like, yeah, as soon as um, three o'clock come, the heavens are just open and it hasn't stopped. So, yeah, pleased to get the game on, pleased to get the three points, and now we'll enjoy the uh, coach journey home.